Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. I decided this time round that I will prestige a little bit later than normal. And this is as late as I can go and this is as late as that I will go, alright? Um, I presume there'll be one wheel at least. Let's see how it goes, but I reckon at least one... Ah, oh, mate, 20 hours, yeah, I'm pretty screwed. 20 hours. 10 minutes there you guys go so not looking great i think it goes by four hour slots that is my presumption and i don't think i'm wrong here when it comes to the presumption because i believe that look at that i think i should have joined at the ninth hour so that at least i have about another 24 hours instead of just having what literally 20 hours and nine minutes left i think this is a bit ridiculous um that's my assumption i'm not sure if i'm correct i'm not sure if i'm wrong but that is where i think i am at however less complaining more doing all right let's get it going let me get some titan souls let's get these titan souls going uh, how do you guys find titan souls do you find it to be absolutely amazing or you find it to be nah, it's all right nothing too crazy what is your perspective on this i find it to be good but i wouldn't say it is game breaking let's put it that way i feel like it's really good if you're under 180,000. that just helps you get a massive boost but if you're not under 180,000 uh, level which means you're not if you're in transcendence I don't really see a huge push and uh, ability to get massive gains out of it. I feel like it's decent, but just like everything else, it starts to scale out. And as you start to scale out, you just begin to find it to be just decent. Nothing too crazy, not bad, helpful, but not game breaking or worthwhile spending a whole lot into it. That's just my opinion, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think it is really game breaking or you don't think it's game breaking? Definitely let me know what you think about it. However, guys, let's get this game going. Okay, let's get my pet quest going. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, let's do the, f okay. You want to do the ones with a little bit more stars first, and then you want to start doing the ones that are not having that much stars. So that way, at least you get to farm exactly what you need and boom. Boom, boom. Let's go to the lemon, pet damage, and that pet damage. All right, sweet. So that's gonna give me a bit more increase at the bottom level. All right. Guys, I don't think I've seen any new equipments coming out just yet. Uh, it'll be very exciting to see what happens. However, like I said to you last time, I will be reminding you that there is only five days left. So you are, if you are in Transcendence, or if you just made it to Transcendence, make sure you farm up like crazy get as high as you can and when you get as high as you can on the very last day make sure make sure please make sure you're getting the best equipment that you can get and use those crafting shots for that ability all right that way when you start the next next transcendence knock knock transcendence when you start the next transcendence you will be a whole lot faster in moving up in levels and you will be at an all-time high and you'll be able to get back to where you were when you first started so definitely keep that in mind because that will be very helpful and that's going to get you up to the whole new level of power and one of the best things about transcendence is not just about getting levels when you get up to a certain level you get a lot of bonuses for example you will get a bonus of say uh, skill points you will get a bonus of rate damage you get a bonus of uh what do you call it, a raid, uh, what do you call uh, dust. So you're gonna get a bunch of dust as well. And so that really, really does increase your ability to help in your clan. And not only does it help your clan, it ultimately helps you as well. So you do wanna get the best set of equipment you can for the next transcendence. Use that to your advantage and absolutely smash it out, right? So I will continue the pet uh, built for this transcendence. I will not be changing it. Um, I just don't see a need to changing it. Uh, I was using clan shift for the longest time and I did enjoy it. However, I just needed a, a, a new wave change and a lot of people suggesting 
Uh, the pet built, not only did they suggest it, I did see a very strong emphasis on pet built at the moment. So I will continue this. However, if one day they get Heavenly Strike to be the next big thing, I cannot wait. I will definitely be one of the first people to jump on board on Heavenly Strike and just be able to play Heavenly Strike. I don't care. It just looks so beautiful. When the guy with the sword comes down on it, oh my god, it is a Heavenly Strike. So that is just where I am and that is where I will get to. Alright guys, as you can tell, it is a whole lot longer to get back up to the max level because I am trying to push that boundary of uh, that extra 2500 which also means that I have to take a whole lot more levels before I can get to that point and as you can tell, it is taking a little bit longer than usual to get back up to my max level Alright, let's make sure I have the right things on, yep Range is still the highest, uh, mana is still decent Nothing too crazy. Oh, I forgot to upgrade these bad boys. All right, let me get 48, five. Okay, that would be the next piece of thing. 48, five, that's where you wanna to get to. Okay, I think it's starting to die out now, that's fine. I will get them all back up to about 48,000 on the, the ones that are helpful and the ones that I do need at that level. Okay, this is looking great not too far off let me at least hit the 450,000 so I have a fighting chance if I don't hit this 450,000 I will not be having a fighting chance against that guy but if I do I may be able to catch up to it maybe that's a huge maybe that is not even a guarantee it is a maybe all right good to check that the pet damage is on my particular melee so I'm going to use melee for that all right, let me get up to here. Come on, let's get it. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's make it. Yep, we are sweet. Look at that. Like I say, huge rate damage increase and you get some skill points. That is exactly what you want. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is just going and going and going. Mage, okay, let me swap it out to mage. Let's see how good this is. Oh wow, there's another thing to collect too. I love it. Absolutely loving it. Wow, to the point where I'm running out of uh, mana for these guys. Okay, let me swap this out. Swap this out. That should be able to give me a bit more mana. And let's get this going. Going, going, going. All right, all right. All right, all right. So that's good too. Okay, that is looking pretty sweet. So now we just have to wait for the contract to come back up and let's see if we can push a little bit more. All right. So guys, it is a bit of a longer video, but this gives you a bit of a breakdown of how I get up to the next level. And once I join the tournaments, what do I do? So this is what I'm doing. And the reason why I swapped this out to Splash is because I want that mana boost. That mana boost is going to be huge. And I feel like that's gonna be enough. Yep, there we go, contract. So I swapped it back to Sophia's Faith, or Sophia's Faith, and that's gonna give me a bit more damage. Accidentally click that. Uh, make sure Mage is still the strongest. Yep, yes it is. And here we go. You know what, guys? I might have a chance here. I might be able to catch up to this guy here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 151 okay he hasn't hit the next level which is the 2500 bracket which means we're exactly in the same bracket so the chances of me actually getting to be close to him to be able to beat him is actually pretty good my odds are stacked for me and i don't think it would be too bad because if he was at a flat level there i will probably say i can't beat him but with this I might be able to catch up to him and that would be amazing. Like he's, like I said here guys, look, even a crappy rare item is already as strong as my current item and that is what you like to see. And look at that, the splash damage, that's already stronger. So I will have to make a new one. Nothing in a jackpot, nothing in critical strike. And ooh, 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 there we go. I got a new one right there. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh wow, even got a warrior and nothing for that. Okay, let me just 
so it glitches out sometimes so you got to make sure you get the right item there sell it all out and we are ready to go okay wow 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 wee 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 wow wee wow wow okay that's looking great and i am prime and set to go for the next one and i haven't even got all my boosters just yet so once i get all of this i should be able to catch up to him unless he's hiding a whole lot of levels in him if not we can definitely get that w all right guys i will keep you updated tomorrow at this tournament to make sure that i will try my best and see if i can beat him if i cannot it is what it is but if i can i will try my best to get there all righty guys that's it for me in today's video it'll be a great start towards the week hopefully you guys are getting a good start to wednesday and starting to get towards thursday and it is hump week today i'm sorry hump day for the week and so make sure you get past it and get to the next position all right guys prepare for at it is coming and also prepare for transcendence make sure you're getting ready for that and do not miss out on that boat make sure you 100% get that ready because it will save you a whole lot more problems later on down the road drop a like drop a subscribe and i'll catch you all tomorrow at the end of this tournament bye bye